Salutations, Crypto Chads. Um, first of all, there's a baby in the background, so if she makes a noise, please ignore it. I am babysitting while I'm doing this. Um, so firstly, I'm going to go through the market, see what's happening in the market right now. Also, I'm going to go through an easier way into getting into IDOs. Okay, an easier way to get into IDOs. Let's be honest, getting into IDOs now, right now is almost impossible. So there is an easier way to get in uh, that's stress-free and doesn't involve luck. I'll be honest with you, I am one unlucky mofo. So whenever I've entered a lottery, I've never got in. I think, to be fair, I've got into about three in my lifetime. In the bear market, you can get to every single IDO. But no one cares about IDOs in the bear market because they don't go up. Okay, they, they get released and then they dump. In a bull market, an re IDO gets released and they can 25x, 50x, 100x, e even more. Cool. So let's start by looking at the market. So we've had some really positive things happening with Bitcoin. So when I, when I say the market, I mean initially Bitcoin because that dictates what's happening in the market. And really, it's been a curse on us, all of us at the moment, just because it's been going down and sideways and it's been affecting the prices of cryptos. So let's have a look at it. And we have now had something significant happen. Okay, we thought when the price dumped here, this golden cross between the 50 and the 200 could have been invalidated. But look, all it did was shake people out. And hopefully now, I think if you zoom in, we've officially got a golden cross. Now, there has been a time in 2013 where a golden cross was invalidated. So let's go back here. Can you see here where... It looked like we we're about to get a golden cross, but we got invalidated and the price went down. But anything apart from 2014, look, golden cross pump. You know, uh, when was the most recent golden cross? So let's have a look at 2020. Look what happened here. We've had the golden cross and the price went from about 10,000 all the way up to, we know where it landed, right? It's about 60. 4,000. So Golden Cross is a very, very significant event in the crypto market. Whenever there's a Golden Cross, we lead to huge, huge pumps. Okay, huge, huge pumps for months on end. So be aware of that. And also understand, okay, nothing is a given. There's every chance that this can come back down, be invalidated, and Bitcoin come all, can come all the way back down to 32,000 or below. That's a historic trend, so hopefully it won't go below that, but who knows. Okay, now let's have a look at the Bitcoin dominance. Let's look at the Bitcoin dominance. Now, as you can see, the Bitcoin dominance has been going down for weeks, okay, and that's when we've been getting these massive gains in altcoins, okay. Now, it can't go down forever. As you can see, the RSI and the weekly has bounced, so we may get a bounce up in the dominance to hopefully to about 44 possibly even 45 and then a crash down okay we need the bitcoin dominance to go down for the alt to do well okay even if bitcoin goes to 100,000 who cares that's 100% uh, gains for bitcoin that's nothing in crypto okay so we need the bit we do need bitcoin to go up but then we need the dominance to crash and that's when the altcoins will pump Okay, the historic line, the all-time low, is over here, around 35. Okay, if we get below this, it can fall really, really fast. And the gains in the altcoins would be astronomical. However, as you can see here, when the Bitcoin dominance actually goes down, like this is the 2017 bull run, okay, this dictates a huge bull run. When it goes up significantly like this, this dictates... A bear market okay again start of the bull run right so when we break through here at some point we're going to break through here and go up here that's when the bull run will end okay so we need to understand this another thing I want you guys to be aware of is the exchange flows look at the Bitcoin exchange flows people this is the price and there's the exchange flows people are taking their money off exchanges. 
uh, sorry, they're Bitcoin of exchanges. That is only good for the supply shock. Look at this. It just continues to go down. The price is going up and the exchange volumes, the supply and the exchange is going down. There's something very interesting to keep your eye on because I think this will only lead to further price expansion. Because what's going to happen when people just can't get their hands on Bitcoin anymore? I said this two years ago. There's going to be a time when people start hoarding Bitcoin, companies start hoarding Bitcoin, even governments start hoarding Bitcoin. And what's going to happen to the price? It's going to go up. And then if Bitcoin price goes up and people get bored of Bitcoin or not making enough gains in Bitcoin, then it goes back into altcoins i'm not a big fan of bitcoin i don't really care about bitcoin but i care that it does well because it means more gains for me in altcoins and i care about my gains right how do you get into ideos there's many many different ways you can go to binance you can go to ftx buy their tokens state their tokens that's going to cost you an arm and a leg you can go to paid where you need 75,000 tokens for a guaranteed allocation or you can go to launch pool now i've already done a separate video on launch pool so i'm not going to go into that much detail but launch pool is amazing so this is the latest project that i'm invested in launch pool so all you do is buy the tokens and you stake them and they give you a percentage of the pool now the platform is getting more popular so you are getting much much smaller percentage of the pool however it's still great it's still absolutely amazing a lot of the projects i've done on launch pool have done 25x 100x unison itself has done 250x or something like that crazy um they've also got a new platform called launch pool labs where if you have a bronze nft which i think you can buy i got it because i held the tokens for so long and that lets you get into projects even earlier Okay, when the market caps are absolutely minuscule. So I think it's a no-brainer. Uh, do your own research. The price has seen extreme dumpage from over $100 straight out of IDO, its own IDO, ironically, down to less than a dollar. Now it's around about $3.24, which I think is still a bargain. But all of these tokens can dump. Okay, so it can dump all the way down. I did, when I did the video before, I think the price was around $15, $20. And I did mention there that it could come down here, but or it could go up here, and it came down. That we entered a that small bear market in May, mini bear market in May, and it came all the way down to below a dollar. Where I picked up more. I wish I picked up a, a lot more because um, I think if you get around a thousand tokens, that's enough because you get a guaranteed allocation based on how many tokens you have. So even if you have hundred tokens, you get something. Obviously, if you got hundred tokens with a on the ethereum network i'm not sure if it's worth it but they do have projects both on the ethereum network and the binance network so i think it's a really really polished stylish uh, functional platform with a great team and they're always doing new things and adding uh, utility to the token itself so i personally i think it's a no-brainer but do your own research don't listen to me just do your own research i think it's a really, really good platform if you want to get into IDOs without the stress.